Lolita, my love. <laughs> That's what's really good. So now this, I think it's the first time we're going to comment uh, today together. Well, it's a long time and I missed it, Lorena. Yeah, me too. I miss you too. So, really? the game started already and uh, they haven't changed. No, this we is still... No, no, that just started. Yeah, but they forgot to change. Yeah, okay. So what were you looking at? I was just taking pictures. Uh, bring me up to speed, dear Lorena. I was just reading the name of the teams and the numbers, but I don't know if there have been a last minute um, modification of those. I think some of the players of Mulder were missing. I don't know if uh, I read some of them that are not here. Christian knows better. Christian is already online saying that it's going to be 10 plus goals. Uh, and number six will make at least... Uh, Three and number Saludos six. Saludos, Beck. Uh, gracias. Number six is Jürgen. Jürgen. So we have Molde in blue. As far as I see, there's a free throw against. Uh, the thing is not there. Ah, okay. Yeah, I, I thought so. Jürgen. Okay, then I read it. Too. Thank you, Christian. We appreciate your feedback because you know them better than us. So please. <laughs> Feel free <laughs> to share all your thoughts. Christian, I missed you. So we have another uh, counter-attack from uh, Molde on the French basket. And Molde is already pushing hard from the open side. But this was well defended. Uh, the Molde player tried to push out with the ball and was uh, hold. But on the, now we have the goal from the close side. So they kept the ball quite close to the to the basket in the first one up minute. It. Please let me remind you it's not Orcas against uh, Unidive Goal. That was a blast game. Right now is um, Molde in blue against Zurich in white. Is okay, it so no, that's is it Bordeaux? No, it is Molde against Zurich. Molde against Zurich. Yeah. It's game oh, sorry. number sorry. ten. I was out of uh, commentating for a while and was <laughs> taking pictures. <laughs> so uh, at least I was right with Molde. Okay, counter another counter attack, attack. One against one and there's a defender trying to do something from the side but I think, oh great, great change from the goalies. They managed to cover that. Something happened. Call from the referee. Apparently. Molde players complaining. Free throw against Molde. That was well defended by the French yeah. and the change. Zurich. Schweiz. Zurich. Switzerland. Syria. French, they speak French. In yeah, I also thought least. it would be a penalty, but it was not. Yeah, I know. I, I thought it looked like it. Yeah. So, no penalty. Molde is back in ball possession. No, no sigue jugando Orcas. Es Molde contra Zurich. Se olvidaron de cambiar el cartelito, chicos. Okay, next goal. Next goal from Molde from the close side. I wish I could tell you what's the number that scored Christian, but I think from this one of any of these two goals was done by uh, Jürgen. Okay. So we are uh, almost uh, through the first half of the first half, and uh, Zurich is in ball possession, trying to break through the forcing defense of Molde. Ball falls down in the hand of a Zurich player. He doesn't have a station to pass through. But he managed and we're almost in the... Oh, that was a nice pass behind the back uh, to a Swiss player. And uh, now we are at the Norwegian basket. And the ball keeper, ball carrier is on a heavy attack by number 33 of uh, the Molde team up to the surface. Ball falls down again in the hand of a Swiss player. And they're pushing now quite hard on the uh, Norwegian basket. Again, ball in uh, Swiss possession. That was a nice chance from the open side. But the... Ballkeeper, the ball was tackled away and it didn't have a chance to break free out of this uh, embracement. But still the ball is in uh, Swiss possession and they try to build up pressure on the Norwegian basket again under heavy attack by the forechain from Norway. Yeah, they are fighting there in the, in the close corner but Zurich is still in position of the ball. Wow, impressive. And well played. Uh, well played, yeah. That's really a um, uh, good attack, uh, but, uh, you know, the, the, the Molde players are so experienced, really. Um, they have now, they still, I'm surprised they're having this much trouble recovering the ball, but Sudi is doing a, a good job, and now we have the captain number eight. 
is trying to bring the ball to the other side and pass it 24 and now they're coming from the open side and now it's two blue players mm. wow. against the goalie and from the back there was a goal and I wanted to answer to Yusian is asking why uh, Christian and I thought it could have been a penalty because somehow it looked like the goalie was holding himself somehow to the basket it looked like I'm not saying it was but it looked like so normally you're not supposed to hold yourself to the basket maybe with the shoulder and it looked like a little bit in so that's but again I'm not 100 percent sure it looked like it was more like a feeling uh, or again, what did you we, see, Christian? Yeah. Again, we go in uh, two times now. Switzerland has lost the ball uh, and didn't uh, the play didn't see where the ball was, and uh, it's already punished by the Malta players going in hard on the Swiss basket. But here, the uh, Swiss player recovered wow. the ball and is Great now going for a counter attack. Uh, one against two, one Swiss player. Yeah, but it's hard three. counter attack and against three, four. Yeah. I'm sorry, I should have continue. I'm sorry. Do I have your permission, Lorena? Yeah, please Thank you. That, that's so generous of you. <laughs> here, here we are, back again on the microphone. Again, Switzerland um, trying to break through, stopped um, in the half of Molde. But now the Molde player with a, I think it was number 33. Wow, wow that okay. was very well uh, forechecking by the Swiss player who pushed the ball out of the hand of the number 7, I think, from Molde. But here's the brutal counter-attack from Molde. <laughs> Behind the back of uh, the goalkeeper and from the open side pushed in by number eight of the Molde team from Norway. Very well done and uh, the little mistake done was a nice opening by the Swiss player pushing out the ball of the hand of the... I'm so sorry, what, ah, this microphone is on. Which one is this microphone? Ah, that's why we couldn't... Problem. I didn't you know that it was on. I put it just out. This is oh, this is the whole sound. That's a, that, sorry. Yeah. I, th yeah. This is the whole sound. Yeah. Is this microphone here? Okay. And do we have a sound from the hall, from the pool? I don't think so. Let me see here. We, I hear every now and then a bit of, uh, of the horn, but I'm not sure. No. Okay. So you you had always the sound of a background here from the yeah, from and, the I and I didn't know that it was yeah. Okay. It's a five zero now for Molding. We had another goal. Let's go back to the game. Yes. So number eight is News uh, Uvind. Uh, uh, he has done a few tour, a, a few goals. And here we go again. Switzerland coming in uh, the basket of Molde in the defensive area. Switzerland does a good job here in attacking, although it was probably one time chance um, for them to score here. But nevertheless, they put pressure on it. But as soon as Molde uh, is in ball possession, going for a counter attack, here we go. See it again. That was uh, the player was already too far away. Ball lost, regained again by the number two, pushed forward. Oh, and this is going to be on the empty basket by the number five from the Molde team. Very nicely played after a short uh, break in the middle of the pool, and then pushed forward. And the player was already on the run, going for the basket, and the, ball, and the goalkeeper was not able to stop him. Um, and uh, the Molde player placed the ball uh, unchallenged into the basket of Switzerland. And here we go again. Uh, Switzerland ball possession trying to open the game but stopped stopped by uh, the Molde player in the middle and here uh, back again. Number six there on waiting. The basket and another goal. But came from the other side, right? Yes. 7 0 now. Th this is a tough one for Switzerland and uh, they know it. And that, that's, but they, well, they do... Well, is it's also one of the favorites, exactly. together with the we, Colombian team. I think right? we will see uh, at least uh, Molde, uh, Mulch and uh, the Colombians, the men, in the finals. Um, so it's a, it's a tough job here for Switzerland to withstand the, the power, the knowledge and the speed of the, the Molde team. We have now... Um, all the blue players in position and trying to recover the ball from the white team, the Swiss, and then the middle, well, great catch from the four checkers of the um, Swiss team. Nevertheless, we have one-on-one -on -one from the side, number five, trying to enter into the goal. It was not possible. The next one uh, is trying to pass, but uh, the ball has been lost for a minute there, but the next smaller player is coming on the other side and is 
goal. It's amazing how they recover the ball fast yeah, when they really when they quickly. lose it when when the ball is pushed because when they try to score and the ball is pushed out of the way of the basket, they recover it instantly because they are already waiting. Their players are waiting there and they go in with the next push in under seconds. So here in the picture you see one of our players, uh, Murat. Uh, he was just uh, taking a video, and I'm a Wolf, and this is Lorena. She's the love of my life. <laughs> People don't care about it. We were talking yesterday about what you know what makes a good commentator, you know. <laughs> well, you have, have to you bring said that you were supposed to be center in the game and you're not centering the game anymore, so you're not following your words. I am not playing right now and I bring in my personality and the things <laughs> that are important to me. So thank you for watching everybody at home. You're watching the 31st uh, Champions Cup here in Berlin. We have uh, 23 teams from uh, 15 nations, 13 uh, men team and 10 women team. Yes. And it's the first day of uh, the games. I think we have to switch back to the game, although, I uh, know, oh we're still here I in the... Team, time out? No, good. Yeah, no, first, uh, the first half is yeah, over. So 8-0 for Mole. And Christian had said uh, 10 plus goals, so it's 8, so it looks like uh, it's going to be right there. And uh, we were asked before, uh, you know, who do we think is going to be in the podium? And I said, I mean, I don't know in which order, but the countries that have a, um, a chance, female and male, both are the Colombians, the Norwegians, and the Germans. And it could be anything, in it. although I would say that the Colombians are the favorite, the male team because they just won last year and also they just won the championship, the world championship in Graz. So I would say they might have a little bit more of a head start. What, what works for the disadvantage of the Colombians, they just arrived yesterday at night, so they are deep in the jet lag and uh, this could be tough for them, uh, especially in the second day. So for tomorrow will be a hard day for the Colombians playing the games and they will have tough games. I agree with Christian here, uh, the, the Finnish, Finnish team, might have a um, is a, they have a wild card because they have some uh, top Russian players. Uh, playing in in the team, so uh, um, let's see what will happen. I haven't seen the Finnish players, uh, the Finnish games yeah, yet. Did they you see play, them? Yeah, they play against the um, uh, Budetovice uh, against Budweis. Budweis, yes. Budweis, and they won, I think, season zero or something like this. I mean, right? I mean, if I remember correctly, let me check my paper. Um, we have it here. Hemelina. I love the name. What does it mean, actually? Is any Finnish people Hemelina? Um, I think it's a kind of chocolate. Zero, it's a, a kind of chocolate. It, it's a good memory I have. <laughs> By the way, we got those candies from blah 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 to Hatayat. How was the name? That were the challenge from last year. I cannot repeat it. Uh, the is Sukkel Tayat. Okay, thank you guys. We got the. If you're listening to it, we both got the all the candy. I ate it. Great candy, I really like well, it. Well, that was amazing stuff. We, we tried <laughs> it, we tested it. It was an evening, it was like a Christmas, and we uh, did uh, the eat the chocolate from the Ur Heile Sukhetali Yat uh, challenge, and uh, it was amazing. Back in the game here, Molde in blue again uh, against uh, Switzerland in, uh, in white. And Molde is leading with a solid 8 0 here after the first half, and we are at the uh, Swiss basket, but uh, this attack was fanned off by the uh, Swiss players. Call from the referee uh, was uh, out of uh, line, the, the, was out of the playing area of the ball. So we have a free throw. Oh, this is a hard pushing around to the Swiss basket. Another attack. Ah, oh, that was the. the Norwegian player was a little bit too easy with the ball and was uh, interfered by Swiss players. Now he's uh, skirmishing around uh, the Swiss basket. Uh, teams didn't see where the ball was. We're on the close side now tackling up to the service. Two Molde players are working on a Swiss player who is trying to hold on to the ball. Going up to the surface above the basket, which is always a dangerous situation with fast players like uh, Norway player. Ball drops down. Goalkeeper tries to Recover the ball and uh, wraps him, rips himself around uh, the balloon in the corner. Ball is loose again and in the hands of a uh, Norwegian player from uh, the front, passing to the close side. Waiting player there again, fended off. Well done in the defense here and very uh, concentrated by the Swiss call from the referee. Uh, underwater on the open side, we don't see what it is. Let's see the sign. Is it a 
penalty? No. Doesn't see. Yeah, penalty. That's a sign. So we have a penalty here in the second half of the game. Molde in blue against Zurich in white. So, penalty and uh, here we go. Um, the number seven is coming uh, from the open side, pushing hard in the goalkeeper from Switzerland and pushing the whole goalkeeper, wrapped the uh, arm around the goalkeeper, pushing him out uh, of the goal and putting the goal, the ball behind his head into the basket. Uh, that was very controlled and very sure game he did here without any uh, mercy and without any uh, stopping in front of it. And I have Annika here Hello. with me. Hello Annika, how are you doing? How was really your good. time around the pool? Nice. Nice time Thank around you. the pool. Welcome uh, here in the game, Molde in blue against uh, Zurich uh, from Switzerland in white. And we have a 9-0 lead uh, from Molde against uh, Zurich. How is the atmosphere around the pool? Really good. There are a lot of people watching and actually there are a lot of people watching in the cafeteria um, really into the game. Um, most of them uh, friends from Basel and Zurich, the women's team. Okay, what do you see, Annika? That's give me, give me goal. what you see. There was well, a goal from the close the side of the corner, so you couldn't see a, call, but a there, lot. There was a call from the referee. The, the referee did show a sign. He was going up to the service. Oh no! Okay, uh, the goal counted. Oh, it looked like uh, oh, we have a, a player from uh, Molde going to the deck referee, standing there talking to the deck referee. Yes. Twenty-four, number twenty-four, with two different fins: one uh, final glass fin and a. Uh, and Stratos. Uh, Chrissy Stratos and uh, the goalkeeper is going uh So we don't know nothing about the decision? Uh, no, but it looked like it was a goal and uh, we go back in the game Zurich in ball possession So we're in midfield, struggling for the ball um you and me? We are in the midfield looking for the ball? Really, Annika? <laughs> yes. The two of us? Here <laughs> we go, Molde oh, going yeah. on for the empty basket. Oh. That was a fast goal from number 32. Um, Njol. White is um, calling timeout. So we have a timeout for white team, for Zurich. Um, maybe they just need to breathe. It's a really tense game. Yes, uh, it, well, well, it's always against Moldy, you're uh, yeah. running behind and yeah. it's, it's very, the pressure you feel constantly is like exhausting uh, against a team like Moldy. Yeah, yeah, I heard that one of the Moldy pl players couldn't come uh, board in uh, Pedersen. Yeah, one of the key players they have. They had, uh, he had to stay at home uh, looking for the children because he thought Champions Cup was next weekend. You're joking. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. That, that's a good reason not to come. I missed it on the calendar. <laughs> wow. Imagine the, the looks of his teammates when he told them, oh, I had the wrong date. Imagine. Yeah, but, yeah it's but, really hard. But how can you angry, be angry with a, a, a guy like Peterson? Because he's, he's just too big. You don't scream at him. Yeah. I, 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 would, I would say, oh, you missed it in the, in the calendar. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's totally fine. Uh, some family time for him. Yeah. So. All right, back in the game, we have a uh, little bit more than five minutes left, five and a half minutes left. Molde is leading 11-0. Molde in blue against Zurich from Switzerland in white. And here is Zurich trying to push into the defense, but from the player above the goalkeeper didn't have a chance to pass the ball down to a player from uh, Switzerland. And the ball is in pole position of uh, Molde, and they're tackled nice up to the surface. Scrum. But Zurich is again in ball possession, trying to build up from the open side a game, moving around the basket, but they're still playing on the open side, which is really um, uh, dangerous because uh, change players could dive in from behind. And now we have Molden in ball possession again, going, going for the corner for the close side of the Zurich ball. Now we have uh, attack from above. Defense gets hold of the ball but now we have struggle again right above the basket 
Um, now moving to the surface, ball dropped. Number seven of Norway got hold of it and the ball is on the close side, we can't see it right now. Now there was a goal from the close side. It was quite a melee, there was quite a skirmish, uh, tight skirmish around uh, the Swiss basket. We couldn't really see what's going on here. Hi, I'm Wolf uh, with the Berlin team and I have uh, Annika with me. From Freiburg. Fribourg. That's I know. Another, another city. I know. That's not my city. I know, I just checked. <laughs> 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 and back again here in the game. Switzerland is again mm -hmm. defending uh, against the attacks uh, from Norway and they try That's to tackle up the goal, c uh, goal carrier from uh, Norway but they're already working on the open side well saved by the Swiss player they pushed away the attacker so that's Eva, right? Number seven? Yep, uh, it's quite, you, you look, it's quite a fast, aggressive game here. Very close quarter uh, fights around uh, the basket. Very tight everything, everything close together. You see the changes of the goalkeepers. They try not to leave any gap uh, for the Legion to push in the ball. And uh, they, as good as they can, they try to tackle off the Norwegian players. But they always break free and stay close to the basket. We have again number seven underwater. Ever is trying to attack and he passes to the close side. Um, they're going up now. Number six from the open side tries, but the defender is there. Um, mm, nice that's snatch. That's Swiss player call from the referee. And again, a uh, uh, um, penalty. Penalty again. We have another penalty uh, because I uh, guess it was a shoulder in the basket in the moment of pressure when Molde was pushing hard on the basket. The Swiss uh, goalkeeper had uh, only the chance to fend it off by uh, putting a uh, uh, shoulder in the basket. That is quite possible. I think they're talking. It, it's one, one of the white players talk to the referee right now. Yeah, but it's it's always like that. If you're in a position where you know um, this is going to be a goal, you go risk for a penalty because uh, either it's going to be a goal by uh, by the regular game that is uh, pushing the game player is pushing you, or you risk it. You can find off the penalty. Yes. But uh, if you do a penalty against a team like Molde, it's almost sure they uh, score. will score. But uh, penalties are a special kind of beast in underwater rugby. We always like to watch them. That's true. It's like always excitement. That everybody stays in the water or tries to get a hit. Yeah. And now we're beginning because the penalty. Yes, here we go. And, uh, <coughs> and they're trying from, from above. above. And tries to get past the Swiss player. Well but done by the defender. Really good defending. So Moller's player is going up to breathe. Um, coming back down from above to... And that was a... Well done. That oh. Was, oh, oh, that was close. Oh. Close. Oh, my gosh. It wasn't in, but it was so close to, to be there. This but Swiss now. defender can be quite proud uh, of his job. Yes. Well done, Switzerland. Uh, really was, nice was try. Exciting to see it uh, in the last moment, pushing the ball away, and uh, yes. this is kind of a uh, uh, penalty you like to see. If it, if it happens too fast, it's a little bit boring. But seeing a fight like this, where it's like, oh, ah, yes. mm, this mm -hmm. is this is what you want to see and where you want to go. Yeah. Thank you very much for this penalty, Switzerland, and also Molde, who's leading now. The team from Molde is leading now at 12-0 against uh, Switzerland. Then there are 30 seconds left in the game. We have another attack from Zurich against the goal the in the corner. There are quite a bunch of people there trying to get hold of the ball. Diego Alonso is saying, vamos, Annika. Uh, hi, Diego. Um, so time sure. is ticking down and uh, I think this game mm. uh, is almost over. You can yes. do a lot in 10 seconds, but... Uh, yes. I think but in this case it's a written history. Uh, 30 goals in one second. Well, strange things can happen <laughs> and time is over and we have a sure 12-0 lead for Molde. Molde. Where do we write down the scores yes. here? And then the next game we will have... Who's Who's playing in the next game? Uh, let me see. It's uh, Ege against uh, Bordeaux. Oh, that will so be a nice Turkey game against too. French. Oh, there's the Turkish players coming in. Pardon me? 
Desitox players coming in? Yes, uh, Hakan, uh, one of the big, uh, very experienced uh, players. Uh, uh, it's had a nice selfie with them and, and it's so funny because mm -hmm. you you just walk by and they are looking very grim and then you say selfie and everybody's yes. smiling like suddenly yeah i just did i am just doing some group selfies with I all the teams yeah. yeah very well so join us uh, on the, our uh, instagram account and on facebook you will see pictures and uh, videos and uh, s a lot of selfies i guess a lot of selfies a lot of insight a lot of um Things you won't see at the live stream. So, so there is uh, Jose Castro. Colombo. Uh, no, Castro. Um, there will be. Ah, he's Colombo, yeah. yeah. Alors, uh, tu veux m'appeler, uh, que j'appelle, uh, uh, que je parle uh, français pour toi, c'est pas de problème. Alors, uh, um, je sais parler français, je parle l'exercice uh, parce que personne ne parle avec moi. Mais je, je peux commenter en français, c'est possible. Euh, bonjour à tout le monde de la France. Euh, regardez euh, la prochaine... Euh, c'est quoi ça La prochaine game oh, Je ne connais, connais pas le mot. Parce que j'ai appris à euh, parler français quand je n'ai pas pu jouer au rugby sur Quackwatico. So I did a little bit in French, because we will have uh, Bordeaux. Uh, in the next game coming up and uh, I just said uh, I learned uh, French in school and I didn't play uh, the water rugby when I learned it so I don't know all the the right words but nevertheless uh, we can still greet in uh, la prochaine match merci beaucoup très gentil merci bien French or Turkish, so we do it in Come English. on, go for the Turkish. For the Turkish? Yes. I don't know any word in Turkish. I have to tell the, the little story. I had a Turkish neighbor and uh, she was so nice, always cooking for me, and her name was so complicated. So at one time I tried to call her and, and she said, Wolf, just call me Olga. Well, okay. that's, that's so this is the only word in, in Turkish I know, Olga. Olga. Okay, um, this is going to be an interesting game, I guess. My um, bet here would be on Turkey from uh, considering experience and push. But we saw a good game from Bodo in the beginning. Yeah, they're really, and they have like um, a really match of players. They have one girl playing Anais, and they also have Laurent playing. Yeah. So. That's going to be at least a, a very interesting game because you never underestimate the newcomers. Uh, we saw it with Singapore. I think this is just like uh, ah, just warming up, warming yeah. up, yeah. Passing around the ball. I think a Turkish player wouldn't give a uh, ball like this. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you have the ball. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Oh, Why you're not? You're such <laughs> a nice guy. Here. You can have it. <laughs> so um, I think it will be a tense game. <coughs> it's uh, the third game on the group, right? Ega played today, uh, or the fourth. Frogs played and Ega played earlier as well. Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, in the live stream chat, come on, give us a little bit of insight. Where are you watching from? Tout le monde dans le live stream chat, s'il vous plaît, parlez de d'où vous regardez, de Paris, de Bordeaux, tu es tout seul ou tu es avec la famille, avec le club. Alors, uh, please tell us where you're watching from and uh, with whom are you watching the games coming up. Uh, we are always interested who is in the live stream chat. We have 148 um, spectators um, watching from all over the world. So uh, we're curious. Please write in the live stream chat so we have a little bit inside who is uh, listening and watching. Yes. Also, it would be interesting to, to know what cities of uh, Turkey is watching. Yes. Izmir, Istanbul, Ankara. New York. We have... Uh, Wow. Rolexi Pinson uh, watching from New York. That's nice. If I gonna make it to Copenhagen. Thank you. DK Sturm watching from Copenhagen. Interesting. It's amazing to have uh, you people watching from yes. all over the world and us sitting here in Berlin talking to you. It feels like uh, the world is our oyster. Yes. So we have as a deck referee Oros from Colombia. Or and stayed with us uh, in our home uh, for the last days. Mm -hmm. uh, quite nice talking to him. And then 
Do you know what's the other referees? Are no, no, we don't have a list. We have to talk to uh, uh, the referees to give us the list for the next day at least. Uh, it always takes a little bit of time. That could be Kaiser. 